Uh, Cabernet, of course, was one of the varieties that the Yarra Valley's history, its traditions were built on. And some of the first wines from the Yarra Valley that turned heads and made headlines were Cabernet Sauvignons and Cabernet-based blends. I'm Hugh and Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. So we're about to taste the Payne's Rise Cabernet Sauvignon. Payne's Rise is a newish winery. It's only been around for a bit over 20 years. It's in the Seville region, which is a little bit to, off to one side of the Yarra Valley, a slightly cooler uh, sub-region of the Yarra, if you like. Um, the, uh, the vineyard is, uh, is cultivated by the Cullen family, and the wines are made by Hoddles Creek winemaker Frank O'Dana, who has quite a, um, a very lofty reputation as a winemaker in the Yarra Valley. So let's taste, taste the wine. It's um, a pure Cabernet Sauvignon, as far as I know. And it's got a classic Cabernet bouquet of, um, oh, so complex. It's got tobacco leaf, it's got briary characters, it's got a little bit of nori or seaweed type character. There's also the black fruits there, blackberries, black currants. Um, but the wine is so much more complex than that. It's, you know, it's very, very, multifaceted and not so easy to describe. Hmm. And again, typical of the Yarra Valley Cabernet, it's not a big wine. It's medium to full bodied. And the tannins are not big, big clunky tannins. They're very fine, restrained tannins, which just caress your tongue um, and provide the structure that's necessary for a wine like that. They don't give you a big grip at the finish. They don't give you a stringency, certainly not. Um, beautifully balanced tannins. The acidity is there, but it's not particularly noticeable as it should be. It's just understated. Um, the wine has got lovely flavors and good texture and good length. We scored it 92 and we've given it a 10 year drinking window. So. Um, obviously it will last longer than that if it's well cellared, but I think between now and 10 years time, you'll get the best of it. It's only $35 a bottle, so it's not outrageously expensive at all. As for a food match, we've decided lamb is the best thing with Cabernet. Even if you go to Bordeaux, the home of Cabernet, they often serve lamb with, uh, with their red wines. And we've chosen a recipe called Butterflied Barbecued Leg of Lamb. So in other words, the leg of lamb's been opened, deboned, and if you cook it on the barbie, that would be a fabulous dish to have with a wine like this. So good health. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.